David, as we were walking out here, you said we are Premier League. How does that feel? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. It's incredible, especially after last year, the way we lost. Um, having 10, 13 days off and do it again. And obviously winning at Wembley with 5,000 fans is even more special, I think. Uh, I wouldn't change it for anything. I think if we lost against Fulham, it was for a reason. Uh, I think the fans will enjoy Premier League football next season because they're, they're going to be back. Uh, we cannot ask for more. Um, it's a dream come true. When I came to England when I was 16, I said to myself, I need to go to the Premier League, no matter how, no matter what. Um, and we've done it. We've done it with Brentford. Uh, I have to thank everybody, especially, especially Blackburn. When I came here, I was, uh, was 16 and then they made me um, the man I am today and the player I am today, but never mind that, it's just Brentford. When I came here two years ago, they welcomed me with open arms. They made, they made me feel like one of those from, from day one. And I have to thank everybody, the club, the staff, and especially the fans, um, especially for what happened last, last year. It was devastating to, to lose in the final like that <clears throat> in the extra time, but we've done it. We're a Premier League team, we're Premier League players, and we cannot ask for more. It's just incredible. So you're, so many of the players, when we've talked to them, have talked about their journey to get into the Premier League. You know, Matthias and Christian coming, coming to the club from Italy and Spain, and, and you as well. There's so many journeys that, are, that have been fulfilled today to, to get to the Premier League. There's, there's lots of journeys, I think. <laughs> Different ones, if you see, yeah, you mentioned Christian, Matthias. You see Pontus as well. You see Ethan coming from Northern League. You see Bita, Salmon, I know Sergio has played in the Premier League before with Liverpool, but everybody, everybody is just over the moon. Um, everybody has to work his <laughs> off. And we're here now. We are going to enjoy today, we're going to enjoy tomorrow, we're going to enjoy Monday, the whole summer. But we have to be ready next season. We have to come back in pre season as fit as possible. Um, obviously, having the rest that, <coughs> that we need. but. It's going to be a challenge and we want to make an impact next season. That's, that's the aim. Make an impact, play against the best teams in the, in the world, play in the, play in the best league in the world as well. And that's a dream. That's, that's a dream for everybody when, when you're a kid. Uh, you see when you are five, six years old, you want to play in the Premier League. You want to play in the best league in the world. So it's a dream, it's a dream come true and I'm, I'm over the moon. Like I was speaking to my mum and my dad and they were crying, I was crying. It was emotional, but it's worth it. Um, they couldn't be here today because of obviously COVID restrictions, but obviously I had my English family here, all my friends from, from England. And uh, it's just for them, and especially for, for the fans as well. Never, obviously, I, I love my family, but obviously this is a big family. The, the club, the staff, the owner, physios, the players, the fans, it's just incredible. And, we couldn't do it even better. I think you can be winning in Wembley in the in the Championship um, <coughs> final of, of of the playoffs. You can't beat that. And having the fans back, it was it was incredible. And they were loud from from the from the from the start. And obviously a team victory, but a clean sheet in a playoff final must must rank <laughs> very very highly for you as well. <laughs> yeah, we we said we said um, let's defend well. Let's not concede silly goals. Let's not give, in, give them a sniff. Let's just don't give silly free kicks, silly, silly corners, because we knew that was the, the, <coughs> the way they could, they could score. And I thought we defended very, very well. We, I don't think we gave a chance away. Maybe at the start of the second half, I used header, they went wide. Um, but I don't think we gave them a, a chance, like a clear chance. So that's fair play to, to the team from, from everybody. But yeah, please, that we kept a clean sheet. Um, we, you know, we play for that. We we love clean sheets. We love to defend. But the first 15 minutes of the game, 2-0, it was it was very hard to to go, uh, to lose that game when when you see it like that. So so happy for the for the performance and just we couldn't it couldn't even go even any better, in my opinion. And your your season as well. Obviously, coming back from what happened here last year, the number of clean sheets you've kept during the year, your performances during the year, it's shown such character from you as well. Yeah, obviously I started the, the, the league injured um, 
I was carrying that, that injury for, for months before. Even in lockdown, I was injured uh, before training. My knee was really, really sore, and then, then I had to look after myself to be to be ready. And um, yeah, it's just it shows the character. Obviously, I had my my ups and downs, and I let the team down sometimes. But it's just it's part of the game. You, you make mistakes, but the, the team the team covers from that, and and you learn from those mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you you never learn. You never you never go forward. And football is not perfect, but today was perfect. Today was incredible, playing out here, beautiful weather, beautiful stadium with the fans and we got the win, we, got, we are Premier League and it's just, there's no words to describe it, it's just, you, you have to feel it, you, you feel the atmosphere in the dressing room, you feel the atmosphere out here when we were celebrating with, with everybody and we, we cannot ask for more, we cannot ask for more.